I'm going to call this one pure ragdoll death because right now when you kill an enemy it first goes into a death animation and then switches to ragdoll physics. I want to add an option where you go immediately into ragdoll physics without any animation. I'm going to go into the attack script. And here I'm going to add another header. Call it pure ragdoll death. Or just ragdoll death. And I'll have a public bool use ragdoll death. I'm going to press control T go to the damage detector and I'm gonna go to the part where the characters taking damage take damage here it is and this is where the character is getting the death animation so we're gonna look at the attack info first I need to go into the attack info control T attack info and here we're gonna have a public bull use ragdoll death And when we're resetting the info, we'll also copy the value from the attack scriptable object. So back in the damage detector, if the info says don't use ragdoll death, then we go into the normal death animation. And if not, if the info says you use ragdoll death, then we'll immediately turn on ragdoll. If we go into animation progress, we have ragdoll triggered. I'll make it true. I'm going to go back to Unity and let me look for the 1, 2, 3 combo. Combo 1, this is the first punch in the combo. And in the attack script, I'll use Ragdoll Death. And if I play, so when I use the first punch in the combo, the enemy goes directly into the ragdoll physics. For any other abilities, they go into some sort of a death animation first and then goes into the ragdoll physics. Let me also prevent characters from falling sideways because sometimes they do. I'm gonna control all these side objects. You can press control to select them one by one. And I'm gonna have a box collider for all of them. And they're gonna go under the platform ground. So now this entire area is the ground. And let me play again. So ragdoll death for the first punch. For the kick, you have the death animation and then ragdoll physics. Right now, the enemy just kind of drops dead when it goes into the ragdoll death. In the next video, we're going to start adding a force so that it feels more like an impact. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.